Here's to whiskey kisses, the peachy taste of sin. Greetings, and- whiskey folk. Welcome back to Drinking Out Loud, where I am joined by the one and only Taryn to go through a fantastic new little range of whiskies. Very excited. Yeah. So these uh, these are all being featured um, in one way or another, and we'll we'll explain as we go. Um, but they, from what I understand, they are an early arrival. Um, mm-hmm. One or two cases of each of them arrived here in BC, and I pinched them. I don't know that I was supposed to. They might have been for something else, especially as the price is really good. It may have this may be a one-time only pricing offer. I'm not sure. Um, but from what I understand, these will be launching fully later this year um, over here in BC. They've been launched in the UK for a while now. Of course. And it's a brand that we're quite familiar with here at the Strath because it's a brand that um, we've done several um, several special tastings of, and that is Boutique, that Boutique Whiskey Company, um, which I'm a big fan of, um, and Taryn's apparently never had before despite us having uh, several in the store so uh, i'm going to put that right today in in good fashion so that boutique whiskey company uh if you're not familiar with them they're a really interesting independent bottler that buy whiskey from not just scotland but all over the world and bottle it usually close to 50 percent alcohol not necessarily as a single cask sometimes as a small um vatting of casks so they're a little bit different. They're also different in the way they present their whiskies because um, they are 500 ml bottles usually, and they have really interesting comic book style artwork, such as uh, this is their Penderin, which has a hand drawing a uh, column still. Uh, this is their Whitlaw, which is a Highland Park, which just has a picture of all of the team of Highland Park sitting in an old ruined abbey. Uh, for some reason, and this okay. is the uh, the Jura, um, yeah, uh, which is this adorable creature, uh, <laughs> terrifying, um, which is a reference to Orwell's um, 1984 because um... uh, he wrote that on the Isle of Jura. So there's usually clues on their labels as to what the whiskey is and where it's from. Um, so even if they can't tell you exactly the distillery, you can usually figure it out. Um, and if you can't, they leave little clues as well. Actually, one of the best value for money whiskies in our whole store right now is a boutique um, mystery space side, which in their tasting notes, they say, um, um, you won't just Glenn like it, you'll Glenn love it. Oh, huh. Gee, I wonder. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it's really good. Uh, so yeah, that's what boutique normally looks like. And I had a really interesting um, big Skype, not Skype, the other one, Zoom meeting uh, li- late last year. Um, with the guys that own Boutique Atom Brands, uh, alongside several other um, uh, representatives from liquor stores across the country that have carried their brands here in BC and Alberta, and um, their import agents. And they were looking for feedback and uh, showing us some of their other products as well, because they don't just do Boutique. In fact, um, about to do a video of one of their other things as well, which is really interesting and I haven't tried yet. Um, But they were looking for feedback. And I don't know how influential that meeting was but i feel like the feedback we gave is probably feedback that we're getting from lots of other people 500 ml bottles pain in the ass really hard to judge the value especially because you have to do math and people don't like doing math in liquor stores we find um which is now which which is why we post the prices with and without tax on our things so you don't have to do the math um and that you know the pricing was a little bit iffy and um it was the consistency was kind of strange as well so they came out with what they're calling the boutique core range and or core offerings or core expression core something and it's really cool uh, they they have out boutique to themselves i think um first of all 700 ml bottles full size bottles european standard size bottles which is cool um and it's a core range of five whiskies we have all of them right now and we're releasing them all we're tasting them all in this video and i could not be more excited about this this is such a cool little range of whiskies Starting off with an eight-year-old Isla. So, mystery distillery. Um, we don't know where it is, which means it's probably Kalila, let's face it. That's yeah. the vast majority of mystery malts from Isla tend to be tend to be Kalilas. Um, and it's got this beautiful illustration of a what what, what do you call a baby deer? Fawn. Fawn. Yeah, that sounds right. A Bambi. 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 Um, beautiful illustration of a Bambi with uh, an Isla ear tag. And it has an age statement. It's eight years old. It's a single malt Scotch whiskey from Isla that's eight years old, bottled at 45.8. So a nice, slightly higher proof. Um, 
almost exactly the proof where you don't need to chill filter it anymore. I wonder if that is part of the equation. Probably says non-chill filtered on here somewhere, and if it doesn't, I'm just going to assume. Um, it does have a bit of a blurb. Welcome to the wonderful world of That Boutique Whiskey Company, award-winning independent bottler of whiskies from across the globe. What you hold in your hands is one of our core offerings, a consistently available everyday dram to be savoured and shared just as you please. This finger-licking, melt-in-your-mouth whiskey from... And then it's got like a blank section where you write in this thing, so it's probably the same on all the bottles. I it hope is, it is. Yeah. yeah, it is. Nice. <laughs> Isla um, will draw you in with bonfire smoke. Uh, gently reveal peach and apricot before leaving you with salty sea breeze and lingering peat. Never chill filtered, always natural color. Nice. And they have a, a QR code and we all know how to use those now, thanks to the pandemic. Uh, <laughs> so they've got a QR code. Yeah, I, I can't, I can't, I love the design. I love the branding they're going with here in the core range. Should we try it? Yes. All right. <laughs> I think the, the tag team worked before. Let's Okay, do it again. Team unbottling. Nice. Get some glassware. How's the cork smell? It's always a Petey. good test. Petey? Yeah, you're not traditionally a big peat fan, are you? I am not. No. Um, I think I like the a good balanced peat. Perfect. Not an overpowering. I think the first time you actually liked a peated whiskey was our uh, Ardmore, wasn't That's it? That's true. That is the first actual whiskey I liked. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, nice. <laughs> All right, so Slanchevar, let's see how you go with this probably quite punchy little Isla. That's punchy. <laughs> that is quite punchy. That's a Smells lot. Smells <laughs> like... Actually, I'm not sold anymore on my assumption that this is a Kalila because it smells more like a Bunahaven on the nose. It's got that... We had a Bunahaven at the outturn last month called Mind Those Chili Fingers. Oh. It's got that sort of spicy kind of nose to it. Um, often I think of mustard. It's kind mm. of meaty it's like a beefy thing it's yeah. like roast beef with mustard mm. yeah definitely very coastal very isla-esque yeah. on the nose let's see what the palate comes oh yeah very salty mm. ashy and fruity it's like someone rolled a damp peach in a bonfire remnant yeah exactly mm. And like a little bit of chocolate almost on the finish. Yeah. It's not overly smoky on the palate. It's more ashy, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. What do you think of that? I don't mind it. Nice. It's not too much. For a peated whiskey, that is about the best I've ever heard Karen talk about one. So I think <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're, we're doing Respect, well. Respect boutique -y. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. I've just realized our... Uh, our viewers on YouTube are going to know how many tastings I recorded in one afternoon by the ridiculous sweater I'm wearing. Yeah. Yeah. You, you'll be seeing this a lot. Sorry. It's a good sweater, though. It is. Thanks. It was only $5. Oh, my God. I know, right? That dots is... around the corner. Oh, yeah. dots. Respect to dots. Shout out, dots. Mm. Yeah, that's that's real good. That is as good, if not better, than the other Mystery Island malts uh, that are quite similar in the market right now. Okay. Things like Port Askeig or Smokehead or, you know, those kind of things. And it's a lot less money than pretty much any of them, um, yeah. which is kind of cool. Um, so how can you try this? Well, this is our free dram this month in store at the Dram Ooh. Association. You can just swing by um, almost any time you like, so long as it's, you know, not peak. You know, please don't visit us at like 5.30 on a Friday evening expecting five-star premium service. And, you know, uh, we might be a little busy. Um, we'll happily try our best to pour things for you at that point, but you might have to wait until the lineup's gone and, you know, but please feel free to come down uh, when, whenever you can and come and try this for absolute free. All you have to do is say, I'm a Dram Association member and I'd like to try that boutique whiskey company. Uh, or you don't even have to remember what it is. You say, I'm a Dram Association member. Please give me the free whiskey. And that'll, that'll usually work. Uh, so at the time this video is uploaded, this will be available in store and will be available for about a month. Um, yeah, come try it and uh, see see what you like. Uh, regular price. And remember, this is not a standard 500ml boutique bottle. This is a full-size real bottle. 98.17. I know, which means with your 10% discount, because this is a featured whiskey and you, every Dram Association member, you don't have to be a Strath Premium member to get 10% off on this. Although if you want 10% off on everything in the store, Strath Premium is your friend. Yes. Um, but yeah, you can get 10% off on this right now. 88.35 for an eight-year-old Isla single malt. Bonkers. Yeah. It really, really, with the adorable fawn. Yeah. All right. Look at Isn't that cool? Face. All right. So 
That is the first of the new, the new, the new lineup of boutiques. Mm, there. Uh, let's see what's next, shall we? Because there's a little bit of a theme going, and uh, this next bottle is about to reveal that. This is a twelve-year-old single malt Scotch from Speyside. Yeah. And judging by the colour, I'm going to guess maybe sherry cask. Perhaps. Maybe, I mean, probably both. I sure hope so. I know, right? <laughs> so, this, again, we don't know which distillery. It's somewhere in Speyside. And that's a much harder game to guess because uh, there's so many. Uh, it really could be any of them. We'll, we'll have a taste and we'll see if it uh, has anything particularly telling. Um, what are the blanks filled in here? Uh, this is a melt-in-your-mouth whiskey from Speyside. It will draw you with uh, honey-soaked dates. So yeah, that's, that sounds like a sherry cask. Chocolate orange. Ooh, mm. Terry's chocolate orange. Yeah. One of my favorite ads in uh, back home in the UK. Do you know Dawn French, um, comedian from the UK? Mm. Uh, she played the Vicar of Dibley. Um, very funny woman. <laughs> um, she did an ad for Terry's chocolate orange where she's just like, shoving it down her face and she's like, it's not Terry's, it's mine. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Uh, before leaving you with savory spice and sweet dry fruits. Yeah, that sounds pretty damn sherry casky, doesn't it? Again, yes. 45.8. All right. Should we do it the way around this time? I, I guess. You hold the bottle, I'll, 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 I'll de-lid it. Okay. Nice. I would like Love it, a little splosh. You want me to pour? Yeah. Okay. I don't trust myself. <laughs> There we go. All right, so a mystery 12-year-old space slide. Again, probably sherry cast judging from their official tasting notes. Let's see. That smells pretty sherry casky. Yeah, big time. Mmm, smells actually really familiar. It smells quite a lot like the darkness, which, funnily enough, is another brand from Atom Brands. Interesting. Which has now been discontinued. The oh. darkness has now been replaced by... Uh, worm something about worm tubs. Okay. The worm tub whiskey, worm I think. Club? Worm worm tub club. Well, you joined the worm tub club. That was an S and wasn't was. it? Yes. Yeah, nice. <laughs> hmm. Oh yeah. Total beautiful peppered peppered figs and dates. That is. Yeah. That is classic. Ooh. Classic sherry cask side. Tastes, I think the, the official bottling that I think this tastes the most similar to, I think, is the Ben Riak 12. Okay. Yeah. I trust you. <sighs> that was just on first impression, though. It'll yeah. probably change the next time I take a sip. Perhaps. But what, what do I find this time? What, what, <laughs> if I was to guess blind what this is? Ooh. It's a little bit of that time. Okay. Just goes to show when you use sherry cast, the sherry cast does a lot of the heavy lifting. Yeah. Oh, it's good though. It's so I don't good. think it's a worm tubby whiskey. I don't think it's like a, a Craig Alecky or something, but it, I mean, it could be, but it feels a little bit softer than mm -hmm. that. It's not as big and meaty as, as, as a big worm tubby thing. Hmm. Yeah, it's, that's very pleasant. Very much enjoy that. Mm. That's your favorite of the two so far? So far, yeah. All right, well, let's see. It's not really fair. But... <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so how do you get to taste this one? Because this can't also be the free whiskey, can it? Mm -hmm. No. Uh, you can try this one, or maybe you can't, because by the time this video is already up, the tasting's already over. But you should have come to the brand new whiskey showcase, because this is where this whiskey was featured. Um, and if you want to come to the next brand new whiskey showcase, you can. Uh, the date has already been set. It is Thursday, April 21st, um, and you can you can come to the next one. And um, brand new whiskey showcase is our new mostly monthly. Um, it's not going to be every month, but it'll be most months where we uh, come together as a club and just explore what's new, what's interesting. Uh, mm -hmm. It'll be a mix of some things that are already on the shelf and a mix of some things that um, are being released at the tasting, such as these boutiques, which aren't actually available on the shelf before that tasting. That's kind of the launch of the whole lineup. In fact, the uh, drop-in drams are actually going to launch on that same day, okay. um, which is kind of cool. Yeah, um, but because it is a featured whiskey, even if you didn't manage to come to the tasting, you can still get 10% off. And in fact, even if you can't make it to our store, the discount works online. Really so does. anywhere across Canada, if you want to pick up this, regular price is one ten thirty five. <laughs> Which means at 10% off, it's less than 100 bucks, $99.32.
I, I, words cannot do justice to how good value this range is. Yeah. And it doesn't stop here. Like I said, there's five of these and we're only two in. Just and wait. It's, it's already Just incredible. Wait. Let's see what happens next. So we've had an eight, we've had a 12. Let's step it up a bit, shall we? Why not? Let's uh, let's let's head on over to the 18 year old. And this, the have you noticed that our little fawn's all grown up? I know. Right? It's so from good. adolescence into an adult. I just love this artwork. Um, so yeah, the, the little air tag this time says Highland Peated, aged 18. So this is an, another PD one. Mm -hmm. um, Highland Peated is usually a little softer. Um, judging from the color, I'm thinking it's probably gone back to um, uh, to, to ex-bourbon casks, but darker because it's older. Uh, there might be some sherry influence, let's find out. The back of the label this time says, it's whiskey from the Highlands. It will draw charred pineapple and gently reveal chocolate and old oak before leaving you with roasted almonds and chimney smoke. So it's a Highland distillery that peats. Hmm. I wonder which one. Because several of my favorites fit into that category. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can pick it. I I mean, I don't, no one's going to confirm or deny anyway, so. Yeah. Ooh. It smells familiar to me. Let's see. Uh. This is so cool. <laughs> I can't get over how awesome this little series of whiskies is. And this is the one that I thought we weren't going to get as well. Because oh. the, the other four all released at the same time in the warehouse. And I ordered all of them. All of all of them as well. We have the only, only existing bottles in the province right now. Um, until probably later this year. And this one came in a week later. Uh, for, a, for a moment, I thought we were only going to get four of the five. I'm really glad it came through. Oh yeah, tropically charred pineapple, absolutely. Yeah. There's a lovely herbal thing going on too. Thyme? Yeah, mm. something kind of savory. Hmm, and like a, almost like a teriyaki. Like totally. that sweet soy kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, that is lovely. It's not overly smoky, no? no? It reminds me of the Ardmore. <laughs> But not as oaky. Oh, the Ardmore. I know, right? It's not. It's not as concentrated. It's not as oaky. It reminds me specifically of the Gordon Wood Fail other Ardmore, not our single cask. Mm -hmm. I think I've got it behind there somewhere. There's um the their like uh what do they call it the the uh, distillery labels that one yeah the distillery labels series where it actually says Ardmore in big letters on it, it reminds mm -hmm. me of that one. Hmm. Mm. Mm. All right. Well, eighteen year old single malt. We're pretty lucky, aren't we? This is a second 18-year-old single malt we've drank together today. Yeah. 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 Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Yeah. Ashy, soft. Soft. Very soft. Yeah. Yeah, a little more tropical and herbal than the Isla. It does feel like an evolution. Mm-hmm. Interesting. It's very nice. I don't mind the peep. Excellent. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, no, that that is that is lovely. The peat's well integrated. Mm -hmm. the, there's some nice sort of complex, well aged whiskey notes going on in there. That's not overtaken by wood. They've definitely been kind to the spirit by giving it old wood, mm -hmm. uh, like re uh, reused casks that aren't going to over overpower it. That's <clears throat> if they can just keep the making these whiskies at this quality. And at close to these prices, yeah. they're onto a winner here. This is a stunning lineup. Big time. I think other independent bottlers are moving into this direction of having a core lineup. I know mm. um, the 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 not the ones that look like um, elements uh, the elements of Isla series. Um, I learned today that they're actually not doing those single casts at all oh. anymore. Uh, they've got a core range and they're doing some limited editions. <laughs> and I think a lot of companies are spinning towards that because it's. It's hard to get a consistent big variety of yeah. whiskies, um, but people expect somewhat consistency from a company. So it's, I think this is good. But to that end, I don't think Boutique is in any danger of not doing the other things that they do. Um, and they do them very well. In fact, there's one more hidden Boutique um, that I'll probably release at next month's um, tasting because uh, there's one that I haven't released from their old range which is extra special, and I've been waiting for an extra special tasting. 
maybe mm. another that. And it'll be one of the oldest whiskies they've ever released, actually. I know. But yeah, this is this is pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. How much is this one? Good question. Um, this one, regular price. Oh, and also, <laughs> yeah, where can you try it? Because mm. this is the premium whiskey in the Drop-In Drowns this month. Nice. So you can come and try this whiskey. Ooh, what should we say? Four bucks? That sure. sounds about right. Four dollars. You can come in and try this. Give us four dollars and you will give, get a half ounce sample of this, which is a really good deal, especially compared to bar prices. And, yeah. you know, we don't have the comfortable, most comfortable seats. In fact, we don't have any seats. Zero. Um, but it's really nice to walk around the store and, and, and drink a dram of whiskey. Four bucks. Or if you're a Strath Premium member, it's included in your subscription price. And that's 16 bucks a month. So, hey, get your money's worth. Come and down and try. Um, and it is 10% off. Again, uh, 186.87. Yep. Uh, which means it's 168.18. For an 18 year old whiskey. For an 18 year old whiskey. 168.18. Pretty wild, eh? Nice. All right. So, where does it go from here? We've had Isla, we've had Speyside, we've had, we've had Highlands. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, there's one, there's one big chunk of Scotland missing. Yes. Um, and it's a sunk of Scotland that's known for making a completely different style of whiskey. Maybe we can pump up the age a bit as well. Yeah? Yeah. I think so. well, it's gradually getting older. I think yeah. it's only fair that we have a 30-year-old blended grain whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. It's an old... It's, a really it's old older stag. than me. It is older than you. <laughs> oh, that's wild. Uh, so... This melt-in-your-mouth whiskey from Scotland, so not necessarily Lowlands, there are some Highland grain distilleries as well, um, uh, will draw you in with buttery pastry, gently reveal chocolate and cedar before leaving you with vanilla and butterscotch. Never chill filtered, always natural colour. That sounds so good. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's open it. <laughs> the suspense. So, so blended grain is a particularly interesting style of whiskey. It is the rarest of all styles of Scotch whiskey. Hmm, yeah. I did not know that. So there's of course single malt, single grain, yes. blended malt, yes. blended grain, mm -hmm. and blended Scotch. Yes. And of those five, it's by far the rarest. Do um, you know the first one ever made? Um, no. It's the Hedonism by Compass Box. Oh. which has just been discontinued. It has. So uh, get Hedonism while you can. Yeah. And it's probably got something to do with the fact that the gentleman that created Hedonism in the year 2000, John Glazer, has just uh, left the company, retired from Compass Box. Mm -hmm. So, uh, um, yeah, Hedonism is, 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 is going away. And I love that whiskey. So let's see if this 30-year-old blended grain is a good replacement. <laughs> this is silly. So it's this is uh, one that we're going to be enjoying. Um, tomorrow at the tasting or in the past by the time the video goes out um at the uh, brand new whiskey showcase yeah. and i'm uh, yeah i'm really really looking forward to trying this because this i love blended grains i love hedonism i've loved every blended grain i've tried so far from scotland i think it's a really interesting category that is often overlooked yeah i don't think anyone's gonna see this coming no no hmm Caramel, vanilla, yeah, butterscotch, like I said. Just classic Scottish grain whiskey. If I was to hazard a guess, I think there's both corn and wheat whiskeys in here, and that's the mm -hmm. two most common grains that are used in grain whiskey. By law, it has to be at least 5% malted barley as well. Okay. So there is malted barley in grain whiskeys because fermentation has to happen. They have to have the enzymes. Because you're not allowed to use um, additional, like, artificial enzymes in Scotland. Mm. Mm. Oh, big luscious sort of coconut notes coming in from that ex-bourbon cask. I assume ex-bourbon looking at the colour. Yeah, it has to be. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Whoa. That's pretty good. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Holy smokes. Mm. Yeah. It's um it tastes like, um, what are they called? Um, so I just did a taste test yesterday by accident because uh, I had a board game evening and I had a giant bag of Cadbury's mini eggs and someone else brought a different brand of mini eggs. Oh. Hershey's. It tastes Hershey's like Hershey's mini, mini eggs. eggs. I totally see that. It's so soft. 
Oh yeah, it's delicate, it's sweet, it's gorgeous. It's such a different style of whiskey compared to the uh, the melts that are part of this series. Mm-hmm. And I'm so glad that we've got companies out there like Boutique who are willing to buck the trend, <laughs> buck, uh, buck the trend, um, and do things like this. Like so, so many just stick to stick to what is tried and true and what they know. Although blended grain whiskey, since hedonism has taken off a little bit, some other companies have. Uh, and I found even Famous Grouse did one for a mm-hmm. short period of the White Grouse. I think that was blended oh. grain. It was, a, I think, it was an airport exclusive. Interesting. Um, but yeah, very, very few and far between. Um, Deerflans looks so haggard. It's, yeah, it's. <laughs> I, I have a soft spot in my heart for old, haggard, sort of fed up looking animals. Yeah. And that is about as old and fed up as <laughs> I've ever seen a, a herbivore. He's so sweet. <laughs> Don't try and pet it, though. No. He will take your hand off. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we've gone from a crazy range of prices from $98 to. Sorry, I'll, I'll, do, the, I'll do the sale right. $88. To ninety nine dollars to one sixty eight dollars. How much is a thirty year old grain gonna set you back? Well, that's one of the weird things about grain whiskey is because it doesn't have that panache of uh, single malt. It's yeah. uh, and it being blended as well. Um, it's pretty good value. Um, I would say this is pretty good value. Would you say it's pretty yeah. good value? Yeah. <laughs> Regular price, one hundred and seventy three bucks. For a 30-year-old whiskey. For a 30-year-old whiskey. whiskey. Uh, which means the sale price is one fifty six forty five. For a 30-year-old whiskey. Which makes it about $5 a year. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Like, we just did a video of what I think is one of the greatest um, mistakes that we've taken advantage of, of pricing recently. Um, uh, I'll, I'll tell you about it right now. It's an 18-year-old Deveron, and if you haven't seen that video yet, click on the video. I'll put a link at the end of this one. Awesome whiskey, ridiculous price. This is even better value somehow than that. Maybe. I'm not sure, actually. They're neck and neck. That Deverin's fantastic. It is. But holy crap, 156 bucks for a 30-year-old scotch? <laughs> I'll take a case. A full-size bottle? <laughs> We've only got two, I think, so oh, you can't take a whole case. God! Or you can, but you don't get after this scale. Uh, you got me there. Oh, actually, shout out. Uh, we are currently hiring, I believe. Uh, yes. So if you do want to work for us, drop off a resume. Because our staff disguise is pretty good. Yes. <laughs> All right. So, four of the five. Where do we go from here? Now, I, I just realized what the next obvious answer is with Boutique and with this. And it's a little macabre. Like, there should be just a gravestone and have mm-hmm. a closed distillery. They didn't go that d- direction. They went They went something in classic boutique left turn. They, they put on the handbrake, skidded around a corner, and came up with this. It's a moose! It's a moose! It's a moose! This is a Canadian whiskey! It's a sherry cask eight-year-old Canadian corn whiskey. Because why the hell not? Exactly. Right? <laughs> oh, Canada. Uh, so, yeah, this whiskey is from Canada, and we'll draw you in with fruity pastry, gently reveal maple syrup. Will it, or are they just playing on the whole Canada thing? We'll see. Sherried oak, before leaving you with ginger and brown sugar. Wow. Sounds like my kind of whiskey. <laughs> I love that moose. He's so good. <laughs> uh, it's, yeah, this is brilliant. Oh, no. Oh, no. I screwed up the lid. Oh what will I, whatever will I do? I'll have to tear into it like a barbarian. <laughs> Uh, oh, Whoa. took the whole thing off. Not its scarf. It's necklace now. It's scarfless, it's hatless. That means it's coming home with me. That's how I denote my bottles actually here. Any, anything behind me that doesn't have a hat and scarf means it's actually mine. <laughs> Lovely. Sorry, I stole the thunder there. That's okay. We're running out of space. We are. <laughs> All right. Amazing. Let's see what Boutique has done with a Canadian whiskey. So I've had Boutique whiskeys from all over the world, but I've never had a Boutique Canadian. I've had Swiss whiskey, Swiss whiskey from Boutique. We've had um, Pandarins from Wales. We've had Welsh whiskey. We've had Irish whiskey from Boutique. Um, I've had Israeli whiskey from Boutique, from Milk and Honey. Um, yeah, I mean, they will bottle from anywhere that makes whiskey. They've, they, they are actually the first bottled bottle, independent bottler I know of that bottled the whiskey I used to help make in Australia, Bakery Hill. They did a whole series of Australian single malts. So they're not afraid to bottle anyone, pretty much. They bottled, I think... It, I think it was like 89 of the classic single malts. Um, they bottled almost everyone in Scotland at this point. Wow. Yeah. Ooh, that's a nose. Hmm, nice. 
So Canadian corn whiskey. Funny, right? Because most people think of Canadian whiskey, think of rye. Mm -hmm. But the vast majority of Canadian whiskey is actually corn. And the reason that we think of as rye is because we do things differently to the Americans up here in Canada. We distill everything separately and then blend after the fact. So if you're going to get a single cask or a small batch, corn whiskey is easier to get because that is what the vast majority of whiskey distilled in Canada is made of. Mm -hmm. And they add the rye in at the end. And when you do it that way around, instead of making a mash bill like they do in the States, the rye flavor comes through more prominently. So you can have a whiskey that's only 5% rye um, where you can taste the rye still, you know, which is kind of cool. So all of your big name brands here in Canada, your Crown Royal, your Canadian Club, your Weisers, um, they're all going to be corn. Uh, the one big exception is, of course, Alberta Premium, mm. which is 100% rye. So this is probably from one of those distilleries. And like I guess probably the the distilleries that you that sell to other companies, even though I don't admit it, would be uh, the Hiram Walker or the Canadian Mist distilleries out in Ontario. Mm. They're most likely what we're dealing with there. It does taste a bit like the Canadian Club Sherry cask, I'll tell you. Hmm. I haven't tried that yet. Yeah, maybe we should have put it in the tasting. We'll put it next month, maybe. It is good. 15-year-old Canadian Club Sherry Cask, excellent whiskey. This is delightful. Isn't it? It's so good. Yeah, it makes you proud to be Canadian. Mm -hmm. I actually have submitted my citizenship. Oh, you? congrats. Yeah. It's That's so uh, exciting. I hear back soon. Yay. Whether they'll have me or not. I hope they do. <laughs> mm. Yeah, ginger, sherry. It has that zest. It feels like a rye whiskey, even though there's no rye, right? A little bit. Yeah. It's very familiar to, to the Canadian style. That's nice. Have to admit, not my favorite of the lineup. Fair. Um, Fair. But it's, I'm actually, I'm hard pressed to choose a favorite. On some days, this might well be my favorite. And that's the beautiful thing about whiskey, mm -hmm. is you don't have to make your mind up and stick to your guns. You can change your uh, your your mind every, every day of the week, every minute of the hour, you can have a different favorite. Um, but yeah. Doesn't have to be my favorite though, because it's also the least expensive, yeah. <laughs> which makes sense being a corn whiskey and being Canadian. Um, but it doesn't make sense that this is only seventy four dollars and seventy cents. Again, you can try this, or you might have been able to try this at our um, new whiskey showcase, um, and uh, yeah, ten percent off, sixty seven twenty three. That's insane. Yeah. And all of these are 45.8% ABV. All the same ABV, all the same size, all the same treatment, no color, um, no chill filtration. I just I, I just love the way they look. They're it's so, good. so cool. All right. Amazing. Aren't they? Thank you for joining us, Taryn. Thank you for joining us at home. Um, yeah. <clears throat> if you want more content like this in your uh, in your YouTube future, why not give us a subscribe? Maybe even give that little bell or ring you can get notifications yeah. um and give us a thumbs up while you're at it and even better the most important thing drop us a comment i'm not the best at replying but uh it's always nice to hear your opinions and uh, see what people have to say about uh the whiskies we're trying here on today on drinking out loud all right see you on the next one Find your way